Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Room Sunder. And today we have a counter display thing my job. So what is this? This is basically a thing that counts from 0 to 9. Let's just cycle through them. 4, 5, 6, and you can see it's very stupidly fast. And 8, and 9, and 0. So what makes this thing special? The thing that makes it special is that usually... Oh, seamless transition. <laughs> um, usually a number uses 7 bits to to um, to create a number so you see one two three four five six seven seven bits of data that requires you have a tube of uh, that is seven high in this case it's only six how did I do that well let me show you as you can see the red block goes all the way across except for this spot and this is number two so now the question is I want to turn it off. How do I do that? Uh, okay, so I need something that signifies that it is on number two. How do I do that? When the the significance of number two that that allows us to turn this one off is that it's the only number where this block is on and this one is off at the same time. So how do I test for that? I basically put an AND gate in the machine basically right here and when th that is true it sends a signal over here and turns this line off which turns this one off this this segment off so now when I've explained everything to you let's start on building this thing so you want to start off by building the frame for, for your screen yeah screen that's a word <laughs> and it's just like that so like that and then you put your torch thing jobs like the light thing jobs like this inside we just build an eight basically uh, and it looks like that and for the looks just put two blocks right here come over the back side and then you can put a block here here and here and here and here 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 and one here and one here and one here so then you want to put redstone in these spots do 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 Perfect, and actually also one here. And then you want to put blocks in places, just like this. And you can do that, I'm sure. And put a piece of redstone there, and a piece of redstone there. Put a comparator there, 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 there. Perfect, and also one there. Okay. Now, you want to put a torch, and a block, and you want to get a slab. A slab looks just like this, if you didn't know, and um, then you put rest on just like that. And finally, a torch down here, so the screen by default looks like this. Okay, perfect. Next thing, we want to build the rotator, and the rotator is simple. You just get a bunch of pistons and build from this height and six blocks up. And you do the same over here, just next to this bit, and six blocks up. You go one, two, three, four, and then put a piston right there, and and one up, uh, and six pistons high, and that's not six piston high. That's six pistons high. Well, that's seven pistons high. I put that. Yeah, there. That's six piston high. So one, two, three, four, and one piston over, and just like that, and you just tell up again. That is all of your pistons in place. So now what you want to do is come over here and put a block in there, there, and there, and a block here, and a block here. Put three pieces of redstone each on top of that blo these blocks, and then put a repeater there, there, and put on all to four ticks. Now you want to put a stone slab, not, not specifically a stone slab, but just put a slab and put them in these spaces and spots and just put redstone on top and come down here and put a block right here with redstone on top and you're golden for now come over here do the exact same thing on the other side and put redstone on these three and blocks in these two spots repeater repeater slab 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 and then you put redstone on top of those slabs and come down here and put a piece of redstone on this block now 
And now you want to build the control rod in the middle. And the control rod. What? No. The control rod is basically just this. Put three blocks like that, redstone some of them, and now you want to put a block right there and a block right there. Redstone some of that, torch, torch, and redstone some of that block over here, and put a block there and a block there and a block here and a block here. Put uh, put a comparator right here and one here, and then a torch right there and a torch right here. So that is your control rod for the special number two. Um, now, what you want to do is come down here, down to the lower levels, ooh, and put a piece of redstone right here, and actually not redstone, but no, not there, just one block lower, perfect. Uh, put two blocks here with one of redstone and one with a piece of facing in there. Get a sticky piston, not the regular, but a sticky piston, and put it right there with a block on top. Perfect. Okay, so now you want to put a block here and a block here and over here. You want to put that one on two ticks, and you want to put two. Sorry, this is not. This isn't two ticks. Every one of these is on two ticks. I'm sorry, I forgot. Sorry, two ticks in each one of these. Yeah. So this one's on two tick, two ticks, and this these all are on two ticks. I'm sorry. Let's continue. So now <laughs> you want to put a block right there and. A block right there and a block right there, and put a repeater right here on two ticks. Come over to the other side, put a block here and a block here on, yeah, just with redstone on it. Perfect. So now you get a button, a bouton, and you stick it right here. And basically, your rotator is done. You see, first these two moves and then these two moves. And you are ready to put your 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 thing your schematic in your bit roll or whatever you call it. And uh, I'm gonna do the first layer with you, and then you can go on to a link I have in the description with the pictures of each and every single layer and how you want to put it in. So what you're gonna do is get some cauldrons, cauldrons, and some glass. I yeah glass, and then you need a water bucket. Just like this, and what you wanna do is you wanna come over here, and you wanna put a cauldron right here, and two cauldrons right here. Glass, glass, and you're gonna over here, and put glass there, and glass there, and three cauldrons just like this. So now go to the link in the description and find the rest of the things if you wanna build this thing, and. Uh, Basically, just fill the cauldrons, and just that's the only thing you got to remember. I always forget that, and um, I'm gonna paste it in with MC Edit, and I'm gonna come right back to you. And it has been pasted into the world, and uh, now let's check if it works. So basically, just press the button, and it cycles through them, and it would appear that I have missed something. As always, I forget some things. It's not four, it's not one, it's not two, but it's three ticks in each of these. So I'm sorry about that, uh, but it's three ticks in each and every single one of these repeaters on the sides. I'm sorry about that, but now it works, and you can see it sits on one, and we can click it one more time, and it will go to number two. And if you click it again, it will go to number three, and etc. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a guy, leave a guy, no, leave a like, a favorite, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.